In the diagram below, AB is parallel to DEF. So let me mark that. AB is parallel to DEF. <coughs> AB and BD intersect at C. Uh, angle B measures 43, which is already drawn. Uh, and angle CEF is 152, which is already labeled. Which statement is true? So looking at this, uh, when two lines are parallel and are cut by a transversal, then the consecutive angles must be supplementary. So if this is 152, then, this, then that angle must be supplementary to angle A. So therefore, angle A must equal to 28. So this is 28 degrees here. Let me draw that a little bigger. So angle A is actually 28 degrees. And if that's 28 degrees, then this angle over here, because all three angles must be supplementary, so 28 plus 43, what is that? That is 71. No, yes, that is 71, leaving us with 109. The angle over here, this is 109. And without doing any math at all, uh, Angle B and angle D are alternate interior angles, so therefore they must be congruent, so therefore angle D must measure 43 degrees. And angle A and this angle over here are alternate interior angles, so they too should also equal to 28 degrees. And if you did all the math, if I did all the math correctly, 43, 28, and 109 should all add up to 180, which it does. Now let's take a look at which statement is true here. Is angle D equal to 28? Nope, that's not true. Angle A, 43 degrees. Is angle A equal to 43? That's not the case either. Angle ACD is 71. ACD is 71. ACD. I did not solve for that angle, but that is true. That does work. Let's take a look at angle BCE. Angle BCE is 109. BCE. BCE. BCE is not 109. BCE is supposed to be equal to uh, ACD, which is also 71. So the only one that works is option three.